Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. You're watching Finance Square and I'm the host, Zari. In today's video, we're going to be re reviewing all the major cryptocurrency news, the market, the liquidity, the volume, and also give us some new strategies that I'm actually using to help me better process and better trade in cryptocurrency. So let's dig in. So we're going to start straight away by going over BYB. We can actually see what's happening in the markets. So overall, there was a drop of 38% in the volume and almost 10% in open interest. Open interest, it's, it's literally anyone that has any leverage or future position to leave it over eight hours or a night, whatever it is. That to show you how much people are exposed, there's less and less people that have a leverage position for longer than their cycle. And we have a drop of 10% in liquidation. So in the last 24 hours, there was $600 million in liquidation. And then here, which I like to watch is the following. In the last 24 hours, the people who lost their money, the majority of people actually were going long or had a buy position cryptocurrency. This gives you a nice overview who actually lost the money, which means that most of the retail user or maybe institutional believe that the market's still going to go up. And almost in this case, Whoever trade with high leverage probably lost money. All right, so let's go straight away to the market. So the market is still below that one trillion dollars, and I think until we're not going to see that one trillion dollars, the market going to have some hard time going back to those all-time highs that we saw uh, last week. So now we're going to look at what happened in the past uh, few days in the stock market or equity markets. So in the last few days, we saw that the equity market has an inflow of over four trillion dollars of money. So you can also see here like. The, the changes from one sector from one ETF to another. So overall here you have the top the top ETF that has a nice inflow of, of funds and then you have here the top redemption. So basically the the, the fund that most most likely people decide to withdraw and remove their allocation to those fund. But overall it was a positive in the past few days of money flowing into now the reason why I'm covering this is because I did cover in my in video that I did a few days ago that we had a very big drop in the market we had a big correction and we had over 200 billion dollars were redeemed or were wiped out from the market and obviously this money went somewhere probably some money went to uh, maybe equity market maybe in commodity or maybe even other sector now I also want to show that for the past since March and uh, Bitcoin went up by almost 700 percent so just for to have things in perspective we had a very nice ride that lasted for also what nine months almost if not more that is very beautiful also take that into consideration and here we're also going to look at Ethereum Ethereum had a rally of over 1000 percent when we're looking at since March so since March, we had the price of Ethereum around 114. And we can also say that the all-time high of Ethereum was around 1,300 in the last week. That is around, say, well, so 1,000 and over 1,000% gain, which is obviously very lovely. If you see, you can see that we had an amazing rally. And unfortunately, whatever goes up needs to go down to a certain extent. So the question is, how far will Ethereum go and what's supposed to be those price corrections we should foresee for the next few days. Now I'm going to go straight away and look at the price range for Ethereum. Also want to highlight I mean some major changes in regards to the way I display the chart. I have unified the colors so you're not any more blind or you're not any more leaning toward a specific market direction if it's red you most likely think the market's going down if it's green you may think the market's going up so actually unify the call just to green and then also I had the resistance support level i just put red line the reason why i'm doing it because i want you guys to be able to make money regardless of the market movement and the market sentiment the moment the the chart or in red or green most people have a tendency to buy whenever it's all green Whenever it's red, they'll probably go into the fear mode and start selling off. This is why I'm making this change. So I created two different uh, resisting levels, support level. Here, the first one is 1,245, and the second one 1,153, and then the next one is 927. 
Now, for those that actually think that we already reached the all-time high, we're going to have a correction. You can obviously look at it as if you're shorting the market, then you'll probably look at shorting around from 1,150, for example, until 950 or 980, for example, and vice versa. So let's go straight away and look at here, for example. So the next one I want to look at is this. So we're looking now at, sorry, my bad, at Chainlink. So Chainlink, I created as well the same model. So we have three different level. We have the $18.35, the $15.45, and we have $12 or $13, another level. Okay, so this is a different level that Chainlink need to reach in order to move to the next level. Okay, and I don't want to say what direction. Again, I have a very strong view on the market. If you watch my last video, and I think that we're going to have some major correction overall, and some cryptocurrency will be able to actually uh, go up, even though it's not the current trend. So the next coin I actually want to cover is uh, Stellar XLM. So this is the level created for XLM is 31 cent and 21 cent. This is the level. And again, until we're not above one trillion dollars, I think we are in a risky zone where we're going to see some cool off where people are going to be cashing out and maybe um, moving to different assets. So the next one we're going to be looking at is polka dot dot and where we have here the range is 9.8 and the another level 7.2 dollars this is the range that so for example also we can also look at litecoin remember what we always say the litecoin always try to move the price of bitcoin so they usually have the same movement so in this case we can say here the first level is 174 second 145 dollars and 119 so this all the ranges for litecoin and for cardano ada is 31 cent and 23 or 24 cent this is the range and again i have a bit more pessimist or i think that the market is due to a correction so i i want you guys to think about those those are the range for the moment for other to be trading for the next few days or maybe today or maybe tomorrow now for XRP, and I'm being a bit cautious with XRP, so the range of 30, from 31 to 34 cents and from 25 to 31 cents. So those are the levels. So some people will be likely to trade those range and make some money. And then we have our body, Bitcoin, which is actually had the most volume or the most volatility in the past few days is those range. So actually, uh, I want to actually add another line here and another line you can actually put to be around the $35,000 okay this will be probably another range to add so $41,000 is one of the range the second one is $37,000 and then the $35,000 then we have $31,000 so these are the range for Bitcoin and until it's not above the $35,000 range or $37,000 range, I do believe that the market will try to correct itself for the next few weeks. So if you're trying to go all in, this is not the time to go all in. This is the time to really play cautious, even really think about reducing those leverage and maybe taking those profits, maybe the moment you make them and not to just leave it on because we're going to be seeing more and more flashes and crashes and big volatility. Now, this is for today, market update and price update. Until next time, bye-bye.